welcome to the historic town of Franklin, Tennessee. Located just 25 minutes south of Nashville, there is a ton to do here, from great shopping and dining to nature experiences. And I'm gonna be your tour guide for the next couple of days. We'll be exploring the town and the surrounding areas and even trying some Tennessee whiskey. Franklin was founded in 1799 and was a key battleground in the Civil War. But the roots of this town really start with the Native Americans who lived in this area for centuries prior. Now today the town is a bustling place and the first thing you'll want to do is explore downtown, which is full of historic buildings and even on the National Registry of Historic Places. Now many of these buildings have been turned into great shops and restaurants which you can still visit today. A few of the fan favorites are White's Mercantile, which is owned by country music star Hank William Jr.'s daughter. And this store is full of not only fashions for men, women, and children, but great selections of coffee table books, candles, and all kinds of stuff you'll want to take home with you. Downtown Franklin is also part of the Better City for Pets program, which means all of the 90 plus stores are pet friendly. One of the other places you won't want to miss is Landmark Booksellers, which houses over 35,000 new, old, and hard to find rare books. Right down the street from downtown Franklin is The Factory, and it's here that you can find lots of different shops and restaurants that we're going to check out right now. The Factory is actually on the National Registry of Historic Places. This building used to be the Dorch Stove Works, and it was built in the 1930s. Now it's full of artist shops, restaurants, and great places to get some new stuff. One of the best things about the factory is that you can get a variety of food here, so there's a little bit of a taste for everyone. We're getting lunch today from Pinchy's Lobster Rolls, and oh my gosh, boy does this remind me of New England, and I cannot wait to dive in. All right, first bite. Oh it's really good. It's like super buttery. It's on a brioche roll. Wow. Delicious. All right, y'all. I need a little bit more whiskey to wash down that lunch. So we're here at Leaper's Fork Distillery to try some of their whiskey and tour the factory here. All right guys, I'm not gonna share all the secrets here at Leaper's Fork Distillery because I want you to come and take a tour yourself. But one of the really, really cool things that I'm loving about this place is that they actually use almost all of the waste in the distilling process, use it in other things here, sell it to farms and recycle it, which is super awesome. I'm really excited because we're gonna go try some of the whiskey and bourbon they make here. So stay tuned for that. I think it's very important that I add this. This is America. And if y'all want to knock it back John Wayne style, y'all go for it. Not gonna hurt my feelings a bit, okay? So she is. <laughs> Okay, let's talk history. Right now we're standing outside Carnton Plantation. Now this is one of just many historic buildings here in Franklin. Franklin was actually a big part of the Civil War and American history as well. There were two big battles here, 1862 and 1864. And Carnton Plantation actually served as a field hospital in both of these. Now, sadly, in the 1864 Battle of Franklin, almost 10,000 troops were lost on both sides and a lot of the wounded came here. Now there's a lot more American history to learn right inside Carnton Plantation. I can't take you guys inside with me but if you love American history this is a great place where you can learn a lot more about the Civil War. On this land you will also find the largest Confederate cemetery in America. Now the history here isn't pretty. From the killing and removal of Native Americans to slavery and war, it is full of tragedy. But knowing our history is important so we can learn not to repeat it. Now the town of Franklin is full of history in every corner that you look. 
There are several other Civil War houses here in the town, including the Lots House and the Carter House, where you can actually still see bullet holes from the Battle of 1864. And when you head out into some of the parks in the forest, you can see lots of evidence of the Native Americans that once lived in these forests as well. No visit to this area is complete without a drive along the Natchez Trace National Scenic Highway. Now this is actually a national park, one of the eighth visited ones in the US and it stretches for 444 miles from Nashville, Tennessee, all the way down to Natchez, Mississippi. One place you'll definitely want to stop on your drive along the Natchez Trace is the Natchez Trace Parkway Double Arch Bridge. Now this is not only a great place for photos, but for watching the sunset too. The bridge was completed in 1994 and actually received the Presidential Award for Design Excellence in 1995. One of the things you're going to notice when you're coming down through Franklin is all the pastures full of beautiful farm animals and horses. And if you're looking for a place to come and walk your horse or ride your horse, you will love the Garrison Creek Trails. Now these are located right off the Natchez Trace Parkway. The Natchez Trace is named after a historic corridor. The parkway goes along that, but there's also a series of trails that are part of the National Scenic Trail where you can actually walk in history. Now, this is a corridor that Native Americans took, European settlers, slave traders, and all kinds of travelers in the early days of America. And you too can walk in history, bike, horseback ride, or even camp along the route. This section of the trail is 24 miles in length, which makes it absolutely perfect for those looking to camp, backpack, or even horse camp. And for those of you that are looking for a shorter trail, well, this is the perfect one for you too, because at just half a mile in, you have this beautiful viewpoint where you can sit and take a nice family photo. Tonight we're dining at Gray's on Main, which is a historic building here. It once housed the pharmacy for almost 70 years, and they've got a little bit of a twist on Southern cuisine, which I'm excited to try. So one of the Tennessee specialties is a pimento cheese ball that's fried. I've never tried one of these, and I also don't really eat cheese anymore, but here goes. Wow. <laughs> That is cheesy. And it's got a little kick to it too. I think there's some jalapenos in there. Wow. Yeah. And by the way, this is a moonshine like jam, which is actually pretty delicious. The other best dishes here are these bacon wrapped figs. They're filled with goat cheese. I don't actually eat bacon anymore, but I'm going to give them a try for you guys. They're actually really good. So the bacon is like salty, then you have like the savory on the inside. Pretty tasty. Now, this is the dish I'm most excited for. Some butternut squash ravioli with fresh pecans on top and sage. All right guys, welcome to my little humble abode for the next couple of days. This is one of the pot and kettle cottages here in Leapers Fork. We're staying in the Pickett's Cottage and it's pretty awesome. Come check it out. I mean, you could have a whole dinner party in here. Absolutely beautiful. Three massive bedrooms. As you can see, the gang's all here. <laughs> That's that little Harry Potter cottage closet. <laughs> and I love it. But you can have a couple of kids in here. And there's one more bedroom right over here, too.
Good morning, everybody. Who said you can't have cake for breakfast? Well, actually this morning, I'm gonna have a brioche for breakfast, although I have a lot of options here because yesterday I went to Five Daughters Bakery in the factory and they've got gluten-free and vegan options. But I'm gonna start with this guy, which is kind of like a wonderful take on a croissant. Oh my God, that looks delicious those croissant lovers out there like me. Mmm. Oh my god. That is just what I needed after all that whiskey. One of the best ways to explore the Natchez Trace is by foot, and there are a ton of great parks where you can explore it. Right now we're in Timberland Park, which is one of the great parks here in Williamson County. This one's got 72 acres and 10 trails where you can see the history of what the Natchez Trace was. Now one of these trails is even ADA compliant, which is inclusive for everyone. Now, one of the really cool things about this forest here is that it was actually logged by hand in the early days of Williamson County. And the logs were actually put on horse and mules, sent over to Franklin and used to build some of the historic homes there. Two things that are pretty standard in the South. One is biscuits and the other is donuts. Right now we're actually at Biscuit Love right here in Franklin, where we're gonna be trying a bonut. The bonut is a mixture of a donut and a biscuit. It's made with biscuit dough and fried like a donut. That is delicious. All right, guys, I'm gonna need a little bit of help eating the rest of these. So come on down to Franklin. <laughs> Another really great place to come if you want to stretch your legs is the Bowie Nature Park. Now this is located about 20 minutes north of Franklin in the town of Fairview, Tennessee. But if you want to hike, bike, or even ride your horse, you can come and explore the more than 700 acres here and 17 miles of trails. Now we're at H. Clark Distillery in Thompson Station, and I am here with Annette. She's gonna tell us about some of the stuff we're gonna be tasting, and there are a lot of them. So this is gonna be a pretty fun little segment. So this is your black and tan whiskey. Um, we call it a cousin to a scotch because it does have some earthy notes, but it also it has a lot of oatmeal in it. So if you're a fan of oatmeal stout beers, you generally might like that. And so it is a higher proof option. Um, it is 110 and you'll get it. You'll get the heat, you'll get the spice right up Ooh. front. So that one in particular so is- strong. Yes, it's very strong <laughs> and I'd like to get you some water actually. <laughs> it's a good idea to cleanse your palate a little in between your samples with some okay, water. Okay, great. I'm water break, guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're here in Leapers Fork. This is a quaint little town about 20 minutes outside Franklin. This is actually the town we're staying in. If you're looking for some great little mercantile shops and restaurants, definitely check it out.
yo, we're at our last stop on this wonderful trip through Franklin, Tennessee to catch the sunset here along the Natchez Trace. We had such a wonderful time diving deep into the history of Franklin and getting to taste some Tennessee whiskey. Oh, and all that great food we ate, which I'm now gonna have to go on a few extra hikes for. But we also got to see some of the wonderful nature around here where you can hike, bike, and even ride your horse. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you in Franklin, Tennessee very soon. But until then, I'll see you in the next adventure.